Not long ago, I made a model wooden boat out of an old small block of wood. And just recently, my mate Mog gave me the idea to create a model wooden plane. I'll create this using the offcuts from the shed I also built quite recently. I'm going to follow the same sort of plan I did with my boat, as that was quick and easy. So like always, I started off with a really basic sketch of a plane to give me a visual idea of what I was going to create. I wanted to make a basic old war plane with one of those double wing things and a square nose. So I traced an outline onto a block and cut it out with my scroll saw, but you could probably use a coping saw or even a normal hand saw to cut this out if you had to. Since the scroll saw had done a pretty good job of cutting out the plane, I didn't need to do much in the way of shaping like I did with the boat. All I had to do now was to get a sharp chisel and shave very thin slices off the corners to round them over. I also cleaned up any rough edges to create a nice smooth body of the plane. And now that that's all done, I bet you can guess what's up next. That's right, the wings. I had an old piece of reasonably thin wood that had been sitting around for years and was fairly weathered. Instead of cleaning it up and making it look nice, I thought the slightly untidy wings would add a bit of character to the model and make it look good. So I measured the piece and cut two evenly sized bits out of it using the scrolly. In order to make the wings look right, I had to move them closer together, and the only way to do this was to cut a notch into the base of the plane and insert the bottom wing through there. I then used a screwdriver and a single screw to secure the top wing, and for a bit of extra detail I placed two tiny dowels in there to act like support. I gave the whole piece a little bit of a sanding to clean up any parts that might have been damaged in the process. And in case you are wondering, I'm not just wearing these gloves for safety, but also because it was like minus a million degrees outside. And for the last little bit of detail, I added a tiny back wing using an old piece of scrap wood. This is why you never throw out scrap wood, no matter how small it may be, because eventually you'll find a use for it. That's it for today. Please like, subscribe, and share the video. It would really help me out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.